Well, the groundbreaking ceremony for the new Norfolk Casino just wrapped up. And while there's excitement about the project, there are also some concerns. Yeah, the group Casino Employees Against Smoking Effects, or CEASE, are pushing for the facility to be smoke-free when it opens. We have our Jemiah Beatty, who heard those concerns and joins us live from Harbor Park in Norfolk with more. Hey, Jemiah. Hey there, Eugene. The groundbreaking for the Norfolk Casino was only feet away from where CEASE protesters stood demanding for a smoke-free facility for all casino workers. The group said employees shouldn't have to choose between their health and providing for their families. Now, the press conference included a former worker at River Casino in Portsmouth and a representative from Americans for Non-Smokers Rights. Joanna Wilson says she quit her job at Rivers Casino because of the smoke smoke environment and claims after leaving that job, she had to go back on an inhaler. Wilson's message coincides with the overall message of the group C's who are emphasizing their concerns about secondhand smoke. I've lived it and um, it's horrible having to try to work an eight hour shift, constantly breathing smoke. Um, the casino dealers have to sit at a table sometimes with five smokers less than two feet away blowing smoke right into their face. There are numerous states that don't allow smoking in their casinos, and those casinos are prospering. Now, members aren't asking developers to ban smoking entirely. They are just asking for designated smoke smoking areas outside to protect workers and patrons. I'll have much more about this story starting at 4. Reporting live in Norfolk, I'm Jeremiah Beatty, 13 News Now. Okay, Jeremiah, thank you for that. And earlier this month, City Councilwoman Andrea McClellan also raised issues about smoking inside the casino, arguing it went against initial discussions of having a smoke-free facility. She was the one lone vote against the project.